me about um, this loom and this, what you have going on here. This is a um, eight harness floor loom mm -hmm. and the harnesses are this part of the loom and the harnesses are what actually are one of the key components in creating the pattern in weaving. Okay. So the more harnesses you have, the more complex the weave structure is, the okay. interlacement pattern. Mm -hmm. um, so you can do literally thousands of weave structures with eight harnesses. Wow. Um, this particular scarf that I'm working on right now is... Um, a cotton warp that I dyed. You can see oh, the variation wow, of the yeah. warp. Nice. And this particular pattern is called turned twill. Okay. And so I'm creating, I'm weaving actually different size boxes in this, uh -huh. this particular scarf. And I went up to larger sizes and now I'm, this is halfway through and then I'm going to decrease sizes to finish it. Very cool. So this is one, you're, you're just taking over the whole house. Yes. So this is the front room and it's beautiful. And we have a loom. Now show me another area where you work and well, the other studio. My large wow. um, AVL, that's the brand. Uh -huh. It's a computerized Dobby production loom. Uh -huh. This is, um, this is called a sectional warp, warping uh -huh. wheel. And this allows me to put on very, very long warps. The uh -huh. warp is the up and down part. Right. This is, you see the warp here. In this case, I put on a warp, this navy rayon. I think it was about 23 yards long. You're too cute. You're you just, really want it to be all about you, you wanna, don't you? You want to be, be in it. You be so you said this is computerized. So tell me what that means. It's such a beautiful, beautiful machine and seems ancient, but well, actually, actually yeah, maybe this, it's not. <laughs> this loom is 28 years old. Okay. The loom in the other room is probably close to 45. Wow. Um, and how is it that it's um, connected to the computer? Well, there is a, a USB connection. You uh -huh. see my laptop there. Right. And what the computer does is this loom has 16 harnesses, so uh -huh. I can do even more complex structures. In this case, I'm only using eight of them. I don't have to use all of them. Uh -huh. And what the computer does in this case is it tells it which harnesses to lift in which order. Okay. In contrast to the other loom, uh -huh. which I do that with my feet. Okay. I have to create a treadling pattern with my feet. Okay. In this case, I'm just treadling up and down, up and down, and the computer lifts it and we'll do a little demo and you can see what happens. Oh, nice. um, so I am assuming this computer app is something that was made after this loom was made, right? And made to work with it? Well, actually, or has it been around, has actually this, this technology, um, the Dobby loom was originally created in the 1700s. Okay. And it was you. It originally it was Dobby boys uh -huh. who actually raised the harnesses on the side in wow. the order, correct order. Okay. Then it progressed to what's called a mechanical Dobby, which is a peg system and a track system, which is a physical system with pegs that uh -huh. tells these which order to come in. And this right. loom can do that, but right. I'm not doing that. Right. And so You're using all the tools at the, your in disposal, the, in the 19, including the computer. In the 1950s, the weaving industry wanted um, to begin to use computers to, right. to have production. In the 50s. Wow. In the 50s. Wow. And so it actually was... Um, developed at the same time the earliest computers were because it's okay. a binary system. Okay. It's either on or off with it's the very harness. very simple, yeah. It is a very simple system. This just seems like a really mundane question that a lot of people don't wouldn't ask, but I did take weaving in high school, and I never had to thread the loom. My teacher threaded it mm -hmm. for us. Which we call warping the loom. Warping the loom, okay. The whole process is How called How long warping. does that take? It looked so crazy complicated. How long does that take? Generally, rule of thumb is that you spend half your time warping and half your time weaving. Right. So... Um, and it depends, um, obviously, on how fine the yarn is, how many ends per inch you're weaving, how wide mm -hmm. your warp is. But um, one of the reasons I like to weave longer warps mm -hmm. is I do the work of the warping, uh -huh. and then I get to weave a bit longer. A bit longer, because it takes so long to set it up. <laughs> yes. I mean, some people, do, you know, who aren't doing a lot of weaving 
we'll just do one project per uh-huh. warp. Wow. I have actually never done that. Right. I think when I was You learning, get down to business. <laughs> I was like, why would I just do one when I could do three or four? Right. And so part of what I enjoy is creating different things on the right. same warp. Okay. So this particular, you can see this kind of deep burgundy red and navy. Oh, it's so pretty. And... Um, and it looks quite different from the previous scarf I did, which was with a very okay. different yarn, even though this is actually the same pattern. Oh, wow. Um, How cool. So look, look at that. So you, this is just going to keep getting bigger and bigger as you go along. Yes. I have, I think, three more scarves on there. And I've wow. done, this is actually the fifth one. I did a white one with a snowflake pattern uh-huh. because once once you um, thread it, the dobby loom allows me to change patterns easily without okay. changing the treadling because it'll, it'll just do that. All right. Um, well, let's go look at some of the work you've laid out here. Gonna... All right. Here we are. And so this is representative of the work you'll have at the urban market. Yes, I have um, scarves and uh, handbags. I have wow. dish towels. These are just a sampling of different dish towels. Oh, this is adorable. Um, I love that. Shawls. Big old button. <laughs> I actually have men's ties that I've done. Wow. Um, garments. Um, this is a. This has actually been a really popular garment. It's a um, it's a it's a V shawl wrap, and you just throw it over your shoulders, and you don't have to think about you know tying it up or right. pinning it up. And I've actually sold a lot of these. This one is actually it's made out of baby alpaca. Oh wow! Um, May I touch it? Of course, you should see. touch it. Oh yeah. Um, nice. I have some um, tablecloths I've made. This is actually a silk scarf. This is bamboo. I have, a, I have a series of um, aprons. Oh, how nice. Kitchen aprons. So wow. it looks like you're ready. Are you planning to do a lot more for the show or you have a good inventory now? Well, I have, this is, I have, probably this is about a third of what I have. Wow. So.